Hey guys! As you can see, I look quite tired, like quite horrible, I think. I am kind of tired. I've been not like very ill or anything. I've just been kind of tired, exhausted, not feeling very well for the last couple of days. So, but I really wanted to make a video for you guys today, so that is what I am going to do. Today's video is a closet confidential tag video. I know that normally when you do tag videos, you do them because you were tagged by somebody. I was not. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway, and if you have a YouTube channel and want to make this video, I think you should do so. Um, I don't really care. I'm gonna do it because I want to. This video is kind of a walk through my closet with like different things that I'm going to show you from my closet. Um, the first thing that I need to show you is the oldest item that I have in my wardrobe. And I was thinking about it for a while and then I thought it is actually a pretty easy one because this shirt is from when I was in sixth grade. It is just a sweater with a big heart on it. Um, it is because in 6th grade here in Denmark you are making like a play at school or at least at my school we were um, doing a play and I was going to play the teacher and we went actually thrifting back then I went thrifting a lot uh, my mom is not really the type of woman who will go thrifting but we did to find something I could wear so this blouse or sweater is actually from when I was a teacher in a play in um, ground school so that was the oldest item the newest item in my wardrobe I am kind of thinking I want to show you all of the new items that I've got recently because I have actually got a few bits and pieces over the last week and I was kind of thinking when you get so many things in such a short amount of time they are all so new that I should show them to you so the first thing is this hoodie that I'm wearing and um, it is very beautiful and it is from the brand Fidelius Clothing from Germany and it is just really really cool and you're going to see pictures of it on Instagram very soon. Like three nights ago I ordered some new shorts, you know shorts that you can wear underneath short dresses and stuff. I ordered two pairs because the reason why I've been pulling out stuff from my closet like you've seen on my personal Instagram account Lisa daily. Um, the reason why I've been pulling out of my stuff out of my closet is because I was trying to find the shorts that I have to put under short dresses or like a mini dresses but I couldn't find them. I still haven't found them and I really can't believe where they are but I decided I needed two new pairs so that is what I went to order three days ago I think and they came yesterday. That is like two days. I think that is quite good and uh, the service is good it goes really fast and the price is good so thank you forever 21 that was really nice now i can wear my short um, mini dresses again then i also got this kimono and right now i have to admit i can't remember where i bought it online but it's with elephants so that was why i fell so much in love with it but i'm gonna put in a link below i promise i'll put in a link to like everything that i have on that i have a link to also this hoodie um, but it is very very cute and it was also pretty cheap and I really like it and the last new recent item is this beautiful tunic dress from the vintage shop Ette, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that really but it is also freaking adorable I really like it and it is going to be amazing this winter fall because it is kind of warm so that's going to be pretty great but that is the newest items that I've got for my wardrobe. So moving on, the cheapest item that I have in my wardrobe. The truth is that I probably have a couple of pieces at this price. But I just thought this was the one that deserved the attention. Because this cost me less than $4 thrifting. And it is a beautiful, beautiful maxi dress in a very like old school Swedish kind of design. It's very cute, very adorable. I really really like it and as I just said I got it for less than four dollars which is just crazy for like Danish thrifting and prices up here. So four dollars was quite amazing also in the thrift shop they were like 
Wow, that's pretty cheap. We don't really know why it cost that less or that little. I'm sorry. Um, but it's quite amazing. I really, really like it. I think it's so beautiful. So, so the next question is probably pretty simple and easy to guess because that is what the most expensive item from a wardrobe is. And this is this jacket, this vintage jacket, velvet jacket that I bought for myself on my birthday when I turned 21, I think it was, it was. And it is just so freaking adorable. I found it on Asus Marketplace and it cost me, um, it is sectional corner, the desk, um, but around $100. And I don't regret it at all. I think it's so absolutely beautiful. The only thing about it is just that it is so beautiful that I almost like can't make myself wear it because I'm like so afraid of ruining it. I'm so afraid that it's going to rain when I'm wearing it. I never really buy stuff that are so expensive. So I'm just so afraid of like doing anything for it that will harm it or ruin it. But it is very, very cool. I really like the the color of it and all of the details and it's just it is perfect so the next question is what is your most uncomfortable item from your wardrobe um, and to be honest I think this is the one it is a very very body fitted dress that I bought and I really like the pattern I think it's very cute but it is just so body fitted that I don't feel comfortable in it I am kind of concerned about my body I think it makes me look kind of fat, not fat, but just it shows every like piece of fat that I have on my body and it makes me feel uncomfortable. So this is the most uncomfortable piece of clothing that I have. And that leads up to the next one, which is the biggest waste of money. And I'm sorry dress, but this is the one as well. It wasn't expensive, I bought it on a sale. Also, I barely never buy my stuff or stuff that are expensive so it's not because I lost a lot of money on it or anything but it's just not comfortable so I guess that was the biggest waste of money as well it has just been hanging in my closet so far I've never worn it so something I never take off is this one and I'm wearing it on my finger so it's pretty easy to guess what it is and I actually think I've mentioned it in another video like a while a long while back but it is this one and it is the finger ring that I got from my big brother like I think it's four to five years ago just I don't know how many hearts there is but it's just a lot of small hearts that have been put together as a ring but I really really love it and I never take it off it is always on this finger right there three favorite items right now because it has just been summer uh, like summer vacation the weather has been kind of good like here in Denmark the weather has been pretty pretty bad this year but because it has just been summer of course these items are summer related stuff and it is funny because two out of three of these items are green and kind of in the same green color so just laugh at me it's okay the first item is this t-shirt that I have shown you before I'm gonna put in the link below to where I got it but it is this shirt saying that plants are friends um, I've really been loving this and it is one of my absolute favorite things or items uh, from the summer and then I've got these pants that I think is in a crazy crazy lovely amazing beautiful uh, color and just yeah, colors and it has a beautiful pattern as well kind of every time I've been been somewhere on my bike this summer I've been wearing these because they are so like airy and comfortable um, so these are item number two and the last item is these pants that I found in a thrift shop just maybe a little more than a week ago and it's just green pants um, in a very very lovely fabric I don't know what this is called in English but in Danish it is her but they're in such cute color and they have just been very nice i wear them at home and um, just because they're so comfortable and kind of big and just i really like them so this is item number three something i love that everybody else hates 
is actually something I haven't been wearing in a long time because it has been summer and also because I used to wear it every time I went to a tournament in badminton which was kind of hilarious to some people because it is kind of ugly. I have to admit that as well. It is it is very ugly actually but I don't care. It is this one piece jumpsuit in this I don't know Christmas pattern kind of. You can actually see that I've been using for sports because it has gone kind of yellow in here because of like sweating and stuff so it's kind of disgusting. But it is what I used to wear for tournaments in badminton because that could keep me warm and badminton is something you play in the winter and when I get nervous I get so goddamn cold and I am always a cold person just uh, in general so it has been a great help for badminton tournaments in the weekends and I really like it. Um, so this is something that I love that everybody else hates. So the very last one is something that I am excited to wear and it is something that I call my fall dress. It is this African kind of looking dress in some fallish colors and I call this my fall dress. I think this is the dress that I own that complements my body the best. Um, I really like the long I really like the long sleeves. Um, I don't like to show off my arms. So the long sleeves are very nice and then the colors are great on me. The length is good. It is kind of a maxi dress and just in general it's really something I look forward to wear because um, it is one of my favorite pieces so of course I am excited to wear it again. So that was all for now. I really hope you liked this video. If you did please leave me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos that you would like to see from me then comment below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!